Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video, I am going to talk about how to create help for your classes and MATLAB programs. The video has been divided into 5 sections. In the first, I will show you how to create help for classes you have defined. In the second, I will show you how to check which programs have help defined. In the third section, I will show you how to create help summary files. In the fourth section, I will show you how to create and display custom help documentation. So let's start with creating help for our classes. Here I will demonstrate how the help looks like in a MATLAB file for our user defined class. The first using the doc command where it will open an HTML browser where it will display the help for that function and the second is the help command. So the help command will take that HTML content and publish it in your command window. So there are these these are the two ways in which you can view the help file. So let me show you an example how you can incorporate help for this doc command. So I'm going to open this some class.m. This is basically a class file where I have defined a class called some class where I have two public properties that is one and two and the third one that is three is a private property. Then I have two functions that is one is the constructor and the other is a my method and third is also a static function with my static method. So the definition of uh, the summary of the class goes just behind the class, class definition command as a comment like some class summary of this class goes here and the detailed explanation of the class goes in the next line. For each of the properties the help is uh, written just next to the property as shown here that is the first public property and the second public property similarly there is this third public property. For the function the help command help comment is written just underneath the function definition like here it is written summary of constructor summary of my method and summary of my static method. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to open doc some class as this is currently on my uh, current folder so it will open this HTML file where you will get the class name that is the sum class then the summary then the class detail then the constructor summary that it has one constructor then the property summary it has two properties and the third property is not visible then we have met method summary where the static method and we have a normal method that is my method and this is how it is displayed in the HTML file help command that displays the help content in the command window itself. So for the same sum class let us see how the help command looks like. So in the sum class the help command only shows the class uh, uh, all, all the comments below the class definition like the class summary of this class and the detailed explanation of the class. So let me give you another example. I will open a different class file that is my class file. Here I have added some more few comments. So there are ways to add comments. So for a class, the comments can be added something like uh, the, this highlighted here. So basically, uh, the first line deals with the summary of the class, and from the second comment, it's uh, it's uh, the description of the class starts. Then there are options where you can add the properties in this comment itself, like done here my class properties so you can describe each and every property that you have used and you, there is an optional option of adding the methods list as well so here I have added the methods list like do this and do that that are the two methods I have then moving on to the properties so properties here, here I have two properties a and b so there are two ways uh, in which we can uh, write help for the properties. First one is to write the comment immediately next to the property as done in the A like first property of my class and second is to write the comments just above the property like I have done for B. So in B I have written uh, properties both on the top and on the next of the comment. So the point to note here is that the property on the top will always take the preference to that of the next. So this property the highlighted one that is the second property of my class will take preference over this other comments. Similarly for methods we can uh, add our comments just below the uh, function de uh, method declaration method definition. So here in the do this function I have added first the summary of the do, do this function uh, 
that writes one line summary and then in the second line I have started its description. So I can also add content like C also copyright and all those kind of things so to link to the other functions and methods. Similarly for do that function I have the first line that is dedicated to the summary and then the description of the function. I have also added C also that is do this function. Now let us save this and let us see how the help for this my class looks like. So I'm going to call help command and I'm going to call my class. Point to note is that my class is already in my current uh, directory structure. So here I got this uh, my class summary that is one line summary of this class definition then uh, the comments then class properties do this and do that. So as you can see they are linked you can click on the link to open the functions function help for each of the function and properties here something like this so this is how you can define your custom help that will run both with the doc command as well as with the help command moving on to the second section I will show you how to check which programs that you have created have proper help and which do not Using it becomes very easy to check which of your programs have proper help defined and which of them do not. So first of all I will go into my current directory that is this where I have two classes that is my class and some class. I will go to the settings tab. I will go to the reports and I will create help reports. So it will generate basically help report for each of the function that is there. In, in your current folder. So as I had two classes so I got my classes and all the properties inside it here in this case methods my class dot do, do that my class dot do this and then some class and all its methods. So as you can see it clearly says there is no example defined no see also line defined and no copyright line defined. So you can also define all these things and make your help document look more helpful. Moving on to the third section, I will tell you what is a contents.m file and how it helps in providing a summary of the programs in your particular folder. What is a contents.m file? Contents.m file is something that stays in your code folder and you can use it to provide a summary of all the programs in that particular folder. The commands such as help, doc, and version functions refer to the contents.m file to, di to display information about the folders. The file contain only comment lines. The first two lines are headers that describe the folder. The subsequent lines list the program files in the folder along with the description. It also allows option to group files and create a category and category description. You can see it here where I have created category like directory tools and uh, editing and publishing and inside that I have created the function and function description. Here using the help command I am viewing the functions available in the folder code tools. It lists out the version and the two categories like editing and publishing and directory tools and all the functions with one line description about the functions. So if you do not want others to see a summary of your programs file you can place an empty contents file in the folder. An empty content file causes help folder name to report no help found for folder name. So without a contents.help file the help and doc commands display a generated list of all the program files in the folder. Now let me give you a demonstration on how to create a contents file. Again I will give an example of my folder where I have two classes my class and some class. I will just go to the settings. I will go to the reports and I will click on contents reports. So as you can see it asks whether no contents.m file so you want to make one I will select on yes. So it created the contents.m file and it automatically included all the files in my folder. So my class is included and some class is included. Now let us see how this content.m files look like. So here you can see the contents.m file has been created. I will open this just to show you what is inside. So you can see call it creates a function like raw custom it's my folder name that is a raw custom help documentation. Then it included files and with one line summary. 
So here you can add your own comments, your own functions and your own links to other C also copyrights and every kind of thing that you could do with doc and help command things. Say you created a toolbox that works with the MathWorks products. Even if it contains only a few function, you can include it with HTML documentation files. Providing HTML files for your toolbox allows you, allows you to include figures, diagrams, screen captures, equations and formatting to make your toolbook, toolbox help more usable. So in this fourth section, I'm going to show step by step how to create such custom documentation. The first step is to create all the HTML files that you need. So you create all the HTML help files and store these files in a common folder such as a HTML subfolder that is related to your primary program files folder. So this folder should be on the MATLAB search path. It should be outside the MATLAB root folder and it should be outside any other installed hardware support pack packages help folder. So these documentation sets usually includes a roadmap page that is the basically a landing page then the examples and topics that explain how to use these uh, how to use the toolbox you have providing and then function and block reference pages block reference comes in case of simulink and function comes in case of matlab so you can create html files in any text editor or web publishing software Mac matlab includes functionality to convert .m files to formatted html files Second step is to create an info.xml file. This enables MATLAB to find and identify your documentation files. The info.xml file specifies the name that is to be displayed for your documentation set. It also identifies where to find your HTML help files and also the help table of content.xml file. You can create a file name info.xml for each toolbox you want to document. The following shown on the slide is a listing a template for info.xml you can adapt to describe your toolbox the xml looks something like this so you have a product info where you write the schema for the xml that is usually there in all the xml's and then you start with the matlab release where you define which release your work toolbox will work for the name of the toolbox then type of the toolbox then icon then help location and then ending the product info Let's talk about the tags that we just saw in the XML file. So there are certain elements that are there in the XML file. I have summarized all those elements and XML tags in this particular slide. So you have seen that MATLAB release markup. This indicates that the release for which the documentation of the toolbox is written. Then there is a name markup that indicates the title or the name of the toolbox. So this name appears as it is in the browser contents pane. Then there is a type markup that is a label for toolbox describing whether this toolbox is for MATLAB or for Swimming or if it is just a block set or others. Others can be like links, targets and all those kind of stuff. Then there is an icon markup that is basically this is now no longer used but it is required to pass the file correctly. Then there is a help location markup. This specifies the location of all your HTML files that you have created. Uh, this is this this is the name of the subfolder that will contain the help table of contents dot xml file. Third step is to create a table of content xml file. So here basically the file name is help toc dot xml, which creates a table of contents for your documentation to be displayed in the contents pane of the help browser. So you store this file along with your HTML files in a particular subfolder. This file also defines a hierarchy of entries within, within the con content span of the browser. So each TOC item markup entry in the help toc.xml file refers to one of your HTML help files. So you can place the, these files uh, as said along with all your other HTML documentation with the folder name that you have described in the help location markup. So for example, suppose that you have created the following HTML files, a roadmap or a starting page for your toolbox like mytoolbox.html, then a page that lists your function, that is function list.html, and the three function references page like first function.html, second function.html, and the third function.html. And say an example file also like my example.html. So within the top level of TOC, 
you will nest an TOC item element that will define the structure of your table contents. So each TOC item element has a target attribute that provides the file name. So be sure that the file name and the path names exactly match the names of the files and folders. This is case sensitive. So you need to include upper cases and lower cases letter as well. So like this, you can create multiple items in a section and you can create a link to those HTML files. Then comes the step four. The step four is an optional step. Here it here you can create a search database for your HTML files. This is done using the build dog search database function. So in this uh, you pass on your uh, HTML fold subfolder and it will create a searchable database which you which you can easily search in the browser help browser and get the files there. Now the fifth and the final step that is the last step is to view your documentation and how it looks in the MATLAB help folder. So in the documentation section, you will get a link to your subfolder where you can open it, where you will get the list table of contents. And from that table of contents, you can go to your roadmap, your index file, or your any other linked function files. So this is a step that you should see like how it looks in the documentation. It is the formatting came formatting and layout came as it was intended and so on this concludes our video on custom creating custom help and documentation for your programs in the next video we are going to take a look at how to write unit tests for your code so until then please subscribe and thanks for watching <music>